Hi everyone, Dr. Ali Sobier with Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. Just wanted to take a few minutes to discuss one of the more common conditions we see in the clinic and that is hip osteoarthritis. We can't have a discussion about hip arthritis without first discussing the hip joint anatomy and the hip joint in and of itself is a ball and socket joint. The ball is the top of the femur, the femoral head, and the femoral head is covered with articular cartilage. Similarly, the cup of the pelvis is also covered with cartilage and the idea is that the cartilage acts as a bumper to prevent the bones from impinging or touching one another because that's what causes the symptoms of arthritis which is uh, pain, inflammation, and a limp secondary to the pain. As we get a little older, the cartilage begins to degenerate and as we talked about, the bones begin to touch one another which leads to these symptoms. Arthritis we talk about as being on a spectrum. There are mild cases, moderate cases, and then there are more, this, more severe cases or bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. And this is where the symptoms begin to be unbearable on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, as far as treatment goes, we begin by exhausting the conservative measures. These are the measures reserved for the more mild and moderate cases. And this includes non-steroidal medication, physical therapy, as well as weight loss and uh, injections of steroid into the hip in certain cases. Now, as the disease process progresses and the symptoms fail conservative measures, that's when we start talking about a more permanent fix or solution uh, for the condition. And that is in the form of a hip replacement. Um, hip replacement these days can be done multiple ways. We've adopted a uh, muscle sparing, minimally invasive approach. Traditionally, hip replacement was done by cutting tendons and muscles in order to access the hip joint. And with this more minimally invasive approach, what we're doing instead is retracting the muscles. And the way we do that is by carefully placing retractors to move the muscle out of the way instead of cutting it in order to access the hip joint as manifested here in the blue. And as far as the specifics of the procedure goes, what we do is expose the acetabulum or the cup side of the joint. We ream away or scrape away one to two millimeters of diseased bone and cartilage and we replace that with a titanium shell and that press fits right into the acetabulum. On the femur side, we remove the diseased femoral head and drill down the femur in order to accommodate a titanium stem. And this stem goes down the femoral canal. And on top of the stem, uh, we apply a ceramic femoral head. The ceramic femoral head in combination with the highly cross-linked polyethylene or plastic inside of the titanium cup is what allows us the smooth gliding motion that's pain-free on a day-to-day -day basis. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any orthopedic-related issues that you'd like us to discuss further, please drop them in the comments section below. Happy Holidays!